Okay, so let's take a look at question three. So we're asked to calculate uh, again the time in months it would take to uh, it would take for a fifteen hundred dollar investment um, to grow to fifteen forty five if the simple interest at a, was paid at a rate of two percent per annum. Okay, so we could start by writing down our simple interest formula again. So the interest is equal to P R T. That's the first thing. Now, the one thing, um, as we sort of get into some of these questions here, you, you, it's, it's a good idea to maybe make a little chart on the side of the different values um, for each of the variables. Because So we do have four variables in this question, so we do have to carefully make sure that we have the correct um, values for each one here. So it says here, the time in months, so we're gonna solve for T, we have a $1,500 investment. So that means the principal invested is $1,500. And we're gonna grow it to 1545. So that's actually the total value of the investment, the principal plus the interest. Now remember the simple interest formula, the I is only equal to the interest part. So what we need to do in this question here is we need to actually make sure we calculate just the interest. So if the total is 1545 and we invest 1500, the interest is only equal to 1545 minus 1500, which is going to be $45. Okay, so fairly, usually the interest amount is fairly small, um, especially if it doesn't, if it hasn't been, um, invested for a long period of time. So you wouldn't want to say 1545 is the interest, you would just want to say it's $45. So you'd, you'd have to recognize that and do that calculation. The interest rate, R, is equal to 2% per annum. Okay, so that means, again, it's a percentage we need to make sure we're working at is in the true decimal form. And then T is what we want to find. So we can just set this up and plug all these questions into, plug all these variables into the uh, the question here. So interest is 45. Principal is 1500. The rate is 0 0.02 and T is what we're asked to find. So we can just work through this on our calculator. 1500 times 0 0.02 is going to give us 30. Then that's 30 T and then 45 is our interest. And then just like the previous question, we're going to divide by 30 on both sides. Okay, and we're going to solve for t. So t here is going to be 45 over 30. Now, most of these questions, you probably are going to end up getting it into a decimal form. Um, and uh, you usually don't leave it in fractions. So 45 over 30 is actually works out to 1.5. Now, again, what is the, the unit for time here? Well, because the interest rate is, again, quoted as per annum, the t value, the time value, by default, is in years, okay? That's the per value, uh, the time, uh, in because it's quoted per annum is the interest rate. But we're actually asked to calculate it in months. So you're gonna have to do one extra step in this case. So we're gonna have to take 1.5 years, and there are 12 months in every one year. So I like to do a little unit conversion where the units cancel like that. And so our value is going to be 1.5 times 12, which will give us 18 months of time. So that would be our answer for this question here, is 18 months. All right, so a little bit um, trickier because you have to recognize that the, because the way the interest rate is always quoted as a per year, the time in default is years. Um, and then you may have to do a further step in order to, to get the unit that they're asking for there. Okay, so that's how that question would work.